evil in human nature. Just like I would tell you, if you're going to do something, do it well. And leave something with you. Leave aside and let the world know that you were there. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. I have started. Same. So what are you drinking? I'm drinking an iced tea. Sorry. <laughs> Blossoming tea. Fuck. Can I tell? Ice blossom roast tea latte. Yum. So good. I only it's had tea. I only have And I'm a milk, right? Yeah. And I have tea tea. Tea tea. Tea tea? Tea tea. You got a tea tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little broken. I'm sorry. It's okay. Welcome to Undercover Coming, everybody. What's up? Welcome back. Uh, the broken one is Ale and I'm Paula. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I'm gonna close my suck pop socket. It's okay. I'm broken also, but not in the same way. True. <laughs> That's me. <mean. laughs> sorry. So, um, to start off today, we have an update. We do. A very important uh, update. Uh, sorry. I have something on my tongue. <laughs> no, where did it go? Anyways. Yes, we have an update. <laughs> sorry. Please tell the people the so, update. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Bruce MacArthur um, was transported. This was a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe on the 15th or 16th um, of April. Uh, Bruce MacArthur was transported to the hospital after getting assaulted in prison. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to read a part of the article. We will link it if you guys want to read it. Um, so this infamous Toronto serial killer, Bruce MacArthur, was transferred to a hospital after reportedly being assaulted at Millhaven Institution last Thursday. According to reports by CP24, MacArthur 67 was moved from the maximum security prison in Kingston, Ontario, to a nearby hospital on April 11th. Um, Bruce MacArthur's assault in prison comes just two months after he was given a life sentence on eight counts of first degree murder. Yeah. And you can, I'll, we'll link the, the, um, the, sorry, the article. And then you can read the rest of it and kind of like where people are talking, like saying about it. And which is nothing that. nice, so. but he doesn't he doesn't really deserve anything nice. I mean, listen, I don't know why he got attacked, but he kind of had it coming. He did. He did. So, yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, um, here sipping my tea. <laughs> but yeah, there's like nothing there's nothing, nothing has come out. Like, they, they haven't said uh, how many people did it or nothing. No, it's, they're keeping that private for now, which, I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they haven't said, like, how it happened or, or why. Right. So far. So we're still waiting. If we have any updates, we'll let you guys know, but, uh, we're still waiting to hear from that. Yep. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I forgot to tell you this before we started recording. But oh, okay. remember we were going to do a um, ask us anything kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the idea is that you, whoever's listening, can send us questions either on Instagram or Twitter or to our email, undercovercoven at gmail.com. And we will respond to any questions, but on YouTube. So we'll make a video. the yeah. idea is that we're going to make a video. I don't know how I'm going to edit it yet. But, yeah, maybe I'm going to have to, like, split the screen and put you, like, on one side and me on the other. Maybe we can talk on Skype and then I upload the conversation on Skype. <gasps> oh, let's do that. Yeah, me, yeah, that would be yeah. a good idea. Yeah. But, yeah, we wanted to um, to do that so you guys can ask us anything. And also because we need people to subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> True. Yeah, and I can't even tell you, like... A link to the YouTube channel because it doesn't exist yet. You need to have a hundred mm -hmm. subscribers and um, a certain amount of videos. Oh. So yeah. So as long as everybody subscribes that listens to us, I think we'll be okay. 
And you'll be able to, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll be able to have a, a video. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, but um, I think we should have people submit the, anything, mm -hmm. and then we'll just record ourselves talking on Skype. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Mm, it's a good idea. So I don't have to edit that much. True. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anything else? Do you want to <laughs> shout out? Do you want to... Oh, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. <laughs> we almost forgot about you. I forgot about you. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Peter, hi. <laughs> hi, Peter. <laughs> so sorry. Do you have shout outs to anybody? Um, anything? Anything you want to say? No. No? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Are you? Do you have any shout outs? Well, we started listening, and I think we mentioned them last episode as well. Um, the, the, the Death Dames. Podcast, yeah. Podcast? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Death Dame Podcast. I've had um, they're hilarious. so much fun listening to them. They remind me a lot of me because I like <laughs> I'm awkward and I and I like talk a lot. <laughs> yeah. And uh I love the fact that at the end of the show they have bitch banter. Huh. That's yeah. so funny. It's so good. It's so good. You guys mm -hmm. you should listen to it. They're really good. And yeah, uh we really had funny. we had a conversation with them on Instagram. <gasps> yeah, you're right. Yeah. And <laughs> Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You should just tell her. I understand your frustration, man, but unfortunately, there's nothing further we can do for you. Is that what you have to say all the time? Uh. <laughs> uh, I hate people. I hate people. I'm telling you, working in working in retail, and we've talked about this before. Working in retail or any job where you like you have to provide customer service. Like, it could be anything where you, like, have to deal with people and kind of provide a certain service. It's, like, people are horrible. Like, you realize how horrible people are. Yeah. Yeah. I can agree. I don't work in customer service, but I work with people who think that I just They do doodles for a living. And that I everything I do is easy. And that I don't deserve the money I make. So, yeah. <laughs> Yet they're still asking you to do their jobs yeah and i'm like okay do it yourself then exactly okay here's here's uh here's my computer you can open paints ew microsoft paint is it am i saying it right yeah it's mm -hmm. still a thing apparently it's still a thing okay. <laughs> okay okay so going to our subject for today ale doesn't know what i'm gonna talk about I don't. Because she did the research for last episode, and I'm like, I don't want you to do anything, so I'll do a subject, and I'll just surprise you. Yay! I'm excited, because I've been, like, wondering all week. I've been trying not to ask you. Do you have a... Goodness. Do you want to guess? I'm gonna... It's not... It's guess. not a... It's not a serial killer. Okay, so I was I was going the, the alien route, because with you... No. Could be hit or, a hit or miss. Um, <gasps> is it an exorcism? No. It it was going to be an exorcism. But no. Is it... It's not a Tupacabras, is it? No, no, no. Is it La Llorona? No. Is it the one that Jan gave you? No. But you're, you're like, in the area. Oh! <gasps> Is it Skinwalkers? You're closer now than ever. Bigfoot. No. I think I, for, I no. walked away from you it. You went away from the subject. <laughs> I walked away from it. So we're talking about like a legend, a myth, something from Transylvania. <gasps> Dracula. Are we going to talk about vampires? Vampires. <laughs> oh my god. I'm all giddy now. I love vampires. I love vampires. So I'm I'm talking about I'm gonna talk about today uh two stories about real life vampires. To, which I did not know about. And one of them I have to prepare because I have to send you a picture. Oh. And I'm done. Okay. Okay. So we are starting off with 
I'm sorry I'm going to butcher names because I am not from these countries. Um, Petar Blagojevic, who was a Serbian peasant who was believed to be a vampire after his death and to have killed nine people in his village in 1725. This case is the earliest and most well-documented case of vampire hysteria, and it also influenced Western modern, modern vampire culture. It's really weird. So, uh, Petar lived in a village called Kisilova. Uh, he died in 1725. There's like not much about his life, but he died in 1725. He was a peasant. Yeah. And his death was followed by sudden deaths. Nine people died with a 24 hour difference between each of them. So he died. 24 hours later, exactly, somebody else died. 24 hours later, exactly, somebody else died. And that went on for nine days. Ten As days. As if he was, if he was the vampire, he was like eating, eating once a day. Right. Right. Oh, it's freaky. So on their deathbeds, victims claimed, on their deathbeds, victims claimed to have been throttled by Petar at night. His wife stated that he had visited her uh visited her and asked her for shoes and he said no i mean she said no and then he like tried to attack her and she had to get out of town to escape him uh in other legends it said that petar came to his house demanding food from his son and when his son refused petar murdered him by biting him and drinking his blood underneath his butt what? <laughs> did you say? Did you say he he bit him underneath his butt? Murdered him by biting him and drinking his blood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm still a little high. <laughs> I don't know where I heard. Oh my it. god! I was like, that's like the weirdest spot. Like you, you have to position yourself. True. <laughs> True. To bite somebody underneath their butts. <laughs> Especially if it's a child. Oh my god, Ale. <laughs> Please drink your tea. Do us a favor. Yes. Okay, keep going. Okay, so people in the village decided to... Wait, I'm going to kill the dog. Oh yeah! People in the village <laughs> decided to disinter the body, you know, take it out of the grave. And examine it for signs of vampire vampirism, which is apparently <laughs> hair growing, like hair. The hair keeps growing, as a, as well as the beard and the nails, and the absence of decomposition. And I'm like, but wait, after death, you, your nails and hair keeps they keep growing. No, they don't necessarily keep growing, but your your body like what like sucks up, like becomes thin. Yeah, and so it seems as if. Things keep growing. Okay. Can I just ask, how many time after did they take the body out? Like a couple of days after the body okay, was buried. Okay, then he should have been dis- decompo. He should have been decomposing. Right. Um. Right. Like it wouldn't dry up right away. It dries up after. Yeah. After it decomposes, right? Yes. Um. But I just, I'm curious to know. I don't know if you have anything. How did they get? To the, to the conclusion that he was a vampire. Rumors. Like, were they all the victims bit in a certain way? All the victims died, but only after, like, all the victims died. Mysteriously. Okay. And they all claimed to have seen Petar. Um, I mean, Petar was the one that, like, killed them. Mm-hmm. Not killed them. Tried to murder them. And they were all bit. But, like, none of them could explain what happened, especially after he died. Hmm. And so, I, I don't know the reason why they chose, they chose Petar specifically. specifically. Right, like, why would they say something like that? Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know, it's the 16th century. There must century. have been some sort of pattern. Because if you think about it, it could be just a serial killer ghost. I like that. A serial <laughs> yeah. killer ghost. Okay. So, um, like, they could have come up with so many, like, different 
like, you know what I mean? Like so many different things that they could have come up with and they came up with that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he was a warlock or he like, he was a witch or whatever. Or a werewolf. Because people, a werewolf, like it could have been literally anything. Um, but they came up to vampires. It's interesting. It's interesting. Why. Yeah. Yeah. So the inhabitants of the village demanded that a um, a person that was like in charge. It has a weird word, but I, I don't want to say it. But it's like a sheriff. Mm -hmm. His name was let's say Sheriff Frombald, along with a priest, should be present at the procedure as a representative, as like the representative of the administration of the village. Um, by the time they 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 went to to see the body of Petar. Yeah. They were totally convinced that it was a vampire. Because it apparently, according to them, they had already seen a vampire before. Okay. And they were like, oh, this is what a vampire looks like. It was weird. Um so the body was undecom it was not decomposing. The oh, hair okay. and the bead were grown. This was like a week. No, it was yeah. like 15 days later because, yeah, 10 days. 15 yeah, days later. It should have been decomposing, yeah. Yeah, the hair and the beard were grown and they were new skin and nails, apparently. While the ones... Like it wasn't like decrepit. Right. Like, oh, okay. And the ones that... I mean, the the the, the skin that was originally on the on the body was like peeled away. Like a snake. Oh, weird. And blood could be seen around his mouth. And when they opened his mouth, there was blood inside. As if, like, when you know when you eat and it, it pours out your mouth? Yeah. Like that. Freaky. After that, people were, like, freaking the fuck out, obviously. I mean, yes. So they proceeded to stick the body through the heart. Which caused an, a great amount of completely fresh blood to flow through the ears and the mouth of the corpse. And finally, okay. finally the body was burned. Burned. Um, people were like freaking out. They were like, oh my god, vampires are real. And all this was really well documented. And it's, yeah. um, it's the, what started the vampire craze of the 18th century in Germany, France, and England. Basically. Um, the strange phenomenon, the strange phenomena or appearances that the Australians officials witnessed are now known to accompany the natural process of decomposition of the body. So now, when a body decomposes, you can expect the hair to grow a bit more, yeah. the nails to be longer, and the, for yeah. blood to be present. But in those times, it was, like, totally, like, new. Yeah. They were like, oh, no, 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 this is not, like, they're dead. Why are they still, like, yeah, spewing things out? That's what they're probably thinking. Yeah. No, and plus, like, people had died, and then to find a corpse with, like, blood around its mouth? That is... That's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's the story of Petar Blagojevich. But um, I have another one that I loved. And it comes with a curse. Ooh. So this is the story of Loana... Please don't curse me. No, I I'm won't. already hexed. Loana the Bloodthirster. So okay. Loana or Ioana, it's like registered as both. Uh, mm -hmm. Loana Constant. Constantinescu, Constantinescu, mm -hmm. was a 27-year-old woman from the Romanian city of Timisoara who spent mm -hmm. two days drinking her own blood. Her own blood. So, uh, okay. Loana practiced Zoroastrianism, which I didn't mm -hmm. know what it was. So, it's one of the world's oldest religions that is still active today. Sorry, okay, say that again? Zor Zoroastrianism. I don't. I didn't know about it. It's okay. a monotheistic fate. Mm -hmm. No one god. Yeah. Centered centered in a dualistic cosmology of good and evil, and a and it you predict like the ultimate like it, what it wants is to 
destroy evil. Oh, that's good. Basically. Nice. It originated in ancient Persia, Persia, and it's still practiced today in Eastern Asia. So, in Romania, Zoroastrians were often looked down upon as witches, and Loana reportedly was persecuted by the people of Timisoara. Particularly, obviously, ministers who spread rumors that the young woman worshipped Satan and drank the blood of local children. Uh, of course. Because, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, people panicked. Wait, sorry, that reminded me. Have you ever seen the movie Witches? I love that movie. I love it's that movie. It's amazing. I don't know how my mom let me watch it when I was a kid. Cause it's that, so that scary. Scene when they took, it's terrifying. Yeah. That just reminded me of that because they eat children. True. They turn them into mice and eat children. Yeah. Anyway. So, people panicked. Um... Because of these rumors, right? Mm -hmm. And it all escalated until a mob of hysterical vigilantes, which were mostly men, oh, went to Lana's home on October 21st, 1909, dragging her into the street and beating her severely. No. She survived the attack, but had to be hospitalized with severe blunt force injuries and lacerations. She herself chose to check out of the hospital only after two days and go back home. She goes back home. The next day, she's dead. Okay, well... Yeah. So, here's where the weird stuff comes in. Mm. It's widely documented that Loana didn't die from the people's attack, but because of multiple arms to her arm... What? By multiple cuts to her arms and legs. Mm-hmm. She drained a massive amount of blood into a sacramental goblet, and the medical examiner who performed her autopsy afterwards said that her death was caused by extensive blood loss and internal shock from ingesting such large quantities of blood which triggered a heart attack. So during her stay at the hospital, she was... Okay. Like, the day before she left to her home and the day she went home, mm -hmm. she just drained herself of blood. And all that blood was found in her stomach. Oh. In her home, she had an altar adorned with occult symbols, effigies, and herbs. And a year after her suicide, because they're calling it a suicide. Well, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Two ministers who organized the community against Luana, the two dudes who started like all the rumors, died from a rare bloodborne illness. It's like karma. Like, as if they were cursed, yeah. Other members of the vigilant vigilante group who attacked her also died in weird ways. Like, one of them died after a tree fell over him. And another perished in a fire That's with... That's weird, actually. <laughs> and another perished in a fire with his wife and children. Huh. So they were cursed. Wait. So there's a picture of Loana online. Okay. Where she's dead. And it is said... That if you share the picture of Loana, you wake up bruised on your arms and legs. It's like you get like a certain type of stigmata. Now, I have not shared the picture with anybody and I am going to share it with you. Oh, to test this theory? To test the theory. I had nothing to do with this. I'm looking at this guy right now. I mean, I hope that you're in heaven because uh, bless you. <laughs> do you say that? I don't know, but I am going to I am going to send you the picture right now. Okay, and let me know the results. I will. I will let everybody know the results of what happened because, yeah, I have not is shared she, with this with is anybody. It scary? No, it's just to warn you. It's a person lying okay. like on a couch, dead. Oh, okay. Like um. There you go. Lizzie, Lizzie Borden's parents? But not that gruesome. Okay. Oh, she was young. Oh, she was 27. Yeah. It's still freaky because you know that she's not sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. So, I... Can I delete it? It's just freaking me out. Sure. So, I... I I'm going to leave it until tomorrow. 
Just because, like, what if you delete it? Okay. Doesn't sure. Work? Sure. Okay. So, if tomorrow I wake up bruised, I will send you pictures as well. So, the bio- oh, yes. <laughs> the biography of her, you can't find it, like, written anywhere. It's not documented. But it mm-hmm. is uh, traced back to a poem. Um, okay. The writer is known only as Unholy. So, I am going to read the poem. And it says the following. Joanna the Bloodthirster, Joanna Constantinescu, died in the uh, in the autumn of 1909, cause of death, ritual suicide. By, <laughs> I'm sorry. Bless you. <laughs> cause of death, <laughs> uh, ritual suicide by purposefully purposefully ingesting large quantities of her own blood. Stated and concluded the official autopsy and coroner's report. Timisoara, Romania, October 23rd. She called it the communion of saints. This is all a poem, by the way. 27-year-old Ioana was laid to rest in a private ceremony attended only by Spenta Armorati members. She was known to many throughout the township of Timisoara in western Romania as a witch and an idol, idol, idolator. Many fear many blah, blah, blah. many feared her. Many knew the stories of alleged homo ingestion ingestion hemo ingestion not homo <laughs> hemo <laughs> hemo ingestion and unknown and unknown strigo Isa in the woods. She was conspired against by two Christian ministers and their wives to drive out the devil from their midst and cleanse the northern gods from among us. Just before dawn on October 21st, she was dragged by her, from her home by a mob and beaten near unto death. She spent the next two days drinking continually from the communion glass. Both ministers and their wives are dead before the end of the year. Hmm. So... I don't really know what to think because I feel like it's a weird, it's weird. Like, why, why, why? Why what? I can understand why people would be, would, like, create a whole mess of it and go drag her out of her home. I can understand that because people are, like, very... Especially in those times. Yeah. Like, now, it's funny because now we don't have, like, pitch fork mobs but we have the internet where everybody can attack you true which is technically the same true i can understand why a mob would like get together and go to your house just to like Mm -hmm. beat the shit out of you i can get it especially in those times yeah but the thing that like bothers me a lot is why she started ingesting blood especially her Mm -hmm. own blood and um that is weird and they found her, like, full of cuts. And the other thing that is weird is that that, that picture that I sent you, mm-hmm. that's supposed, supposedly three days or four days after they had, like, beaten the shit out of her. Does it look she like... She doesn't look like... No. She doesn't look like... You can only like, see her face that is exposed, right? Yeah. So I don't know. But I think it's really cool that there's a picture of her. Yeah. I think it's really nice. And, uh, yeah, this one is more modern, but the other one is from 1725. So, yeah, those are the stories of two real-life, apparently, vampires. What did you think? Mm, I like it. The first one was freaky as shit. Yeah. yeah. So freaky. Um, It's interesting. I've always been, like, fascinated by vampires because it's that those type of... um. Like not stories, but like, is that could it could could they be real or is it just like a rumor that spread like wildfire in like in the early centuries? If you if you notice, these two stories are rumors. Yeah, yeah. But then, like, you have okay, one of my favorite movies is Van Helsing. By the way, I wanted to say um, that I don't know why I've never I watched see. it. You never watched it? No. Can we please watch it together when you come visit me? Sure. Oh, we still have our um dear dear um Zachary date. I won't forget that. No. I won't I won't ever forget that. I haven't watched it. <laughs> me neither. Ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Um what was I gonna say? We should tell people about that. Because people, people are gonna be like, What? 
So, what is- there's a documentary called Dear Zachary, which is about a dude who whose friend died, whose guy friend died, and he's making a documentary for his unborn child. Because at the time that he died, his wife... His friend, his friend who died, who died unborn child. Yeah. Because at the time that he died, his wife, his wife, right, was pregnant. And so he wanted to, the kid to know that how his father was, like, in real life. Yeah. Like, how, what an amazing person he was and why everybody loved him and all that. Exactly. So there, there's this huge plot twist in the middle of the documentary. Mm-hmm. That makes you angry, makes you want to cry. It literally, when that happened, well, I cried, I was already crying the whole movie. Oh, yeah. Like the whole documentary. But when that plot twist happened, I literally, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe I either. I never cry like that with a, with a movie or a documentary. I ever. think, I think you watched it first, right? No, you had seen it already. Oh, okay. So I was watching it and the plot twist came and I paused. I paused the documentary and I couldn't breathe and I started crying my eyes out. Yeah. And I know it seems exaggerated, but then I told Alia about it and the same thing happened to her. And yeah, I am not, I mean, I am a really emotional person, so you can understand it. But Ali is like, she doesn't react that way to things. No, I just, I'm not cold. No, you're not cold. I do. You're not no, cold. I'm not cold. But I do, I, I think logically. So if like I'm watching a movie, I'm like, oh, that's really, really sad. And yeah, I'll maybe tear up, but like I won't have the reaction because it's, but it's, it's just like the whole movie, like how he did the documentary. You kind of grow, like you grow emotionally attached to the people in the documentary. Right, 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 right. Especially the baby and like, um, and the dad who, who of course is passed. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're like, wow, the whole movie, you're like, wow, I wish I could have known him. Yeah, yeah, it's, he was right? like such a nice guy. So we vowed, after talking about it, we vowed to never watch it again. And the next time we watch it, we would have to be together. And this was like... Mm, maybe two years ago, because I remember... Two or three years ago, because I was... It was, ago, it was, I was still living at Bathurst in St. Clair. And it was after you came to Chile, which was five years ago. Yeah. So like, oh, yeah, okay. like four... Four, three years ago? Maybe four, yeah. And we planned, the next time we watched it, we were going to be together to see if we yeah. we would react the same way. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Sorry. If you want to watch, it's okay. If you want to watch. really bad allergies. If you want to watch that documentary, please do. And please tell us how you reacted. But yes. holy shit. You are yeah, in I... for a ride. Because I was not yeah. expecting what happened. Me neither. So bad. Anyway. With your Zachary, remember, watch it. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So anyway, back to the vampires. Yeah. Van Helsing is your favorite movie. Van Helsing is one of my favorite movies. One of your well, favorite movies. Well, my favorite movie is Coraline. But okay. Van Helsing is one of my favorite movies. Um, Which I think it is based on that vampire frenzy that you were saying for the... um. Uh, for you said Germany, France, and England, right? Yeah, in the 18th century. Yeah, in the 18th century. Yeah. So I think it might have it might have been based around those times um, when that was happening. Um, just a random fact. And then um, what was I gonna say? But it, it does make you wonder because how do like who was the first person who thought of oh this is um, what I'm gonna call a vampire and who True. spreads a rumor like that right? Mm. It's like, it's super, it's really, to me, it's really random. Sometimes I think about, like, witches I think are more logical, but vampires to invent, like, a whole legend or, like, a myth is, like, so, it's so extra. It's, like, so over the top. It is. And, for example, for, for like, Petar, you know, like, there were, like, nine people died, and they're like, oh, because Petar's a vampire. Yeah, like it could have been anything, but they went there. So right. that's like my what I'm what I kind of wonder about. But then you have like, for example, do you, you um do you know that that guy who was called the vampire of I don't know where in Los oh, Angeles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... That kid who like used to walk into houses. 
He drank blood. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I need to know the name. Vampire <laughs> of... Oh, the uh, Vampire Sacramento, Richard Chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, You have that. And then the guy was like... He he was he was a real life vampire. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, without the you know, obviously you ca- you can't you you have to add the like magical elements such as immortality. Exactly. Like you don't die, or like if you put a cross near them, they're not gonna die. Yeah. Um, things like that. But exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. And then you have yeah, like that guy, okay, for whoever doesn't know who it is, who he is. So Sacramento, I think it was in the 90s. I think it's in been? the 90s. In the 90s? There was this kid, well, I say kid, he was like in his early 20s. No, it, the span of crimes were 1977 to 1978. He was a, he died in the 1980s. Oh, 19- oh, okay, okay. So he was very mentally ill. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, and yeah. he would, yeah. So what he would do, he would walk up to houses. So at the beginning, he started just drinking, like, the blood of animals. Like, he would kill in the forest and stuff like that. And then he moved on to bigger and better things. I guess. <laughs> and he would walk around neighborhoods and check if um, uh, if houses were open, like, the front doors were open. If they weren't open, he wouldn't consider it as if he was being invited. So he would move on into the next house. Right, 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 right. Like, if he found out an open door, if he found an open door, he'll be like, okay, I'm getting invited in because, you know, he thought he was a vampire. Um, which... Also, he thought when he was finally in jail, he thought the the government was trying to poison his mac, his mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. And so he had like he gave a bunch of mac and cheese to a reporter for him to like test it. Yeah, he it was so sad. Like honestly, it's so sad. He had schizophrenia. He did. He did, and I'm pretty sure he had some other other mental illnesses that never got. So they called him the Vampire Sacramento because he basically killed people and then drank their blood. Yeah, and then he would like stay in the house. Like when the um when they finally I think caught him, it was when he left this little cup, like this little mug, with like that he had been drinking blood out of. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not really that familiar with um Richard Chase case. You you should. It's I know. Very, very interesting. I should. I should. I should. Yeah. It's like one of my um, list. I, yeah, I know. Um. Uh, my favorite murder has a really good episode on it. You should listen to it. Mm-hmm. And what was I gonna say? Yeah, he would like stay in their houses, like kill them, and drink their blood, and then just leave. Like kind of like hang around in the house, chill, and then leave. I know. Last podcast on the left has two episodes on him, so I'm, I think I'm gonna listen to those. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know because they're yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like, you, then you have that guy and it's like, well, technically he was a vampire. <laughs> yeah. But also he was very mentally also. It's just that it's different because he, he himself believed he was a vampire, but these other people, the, like everything was based on rumors. Yeah. Like, for example, in the case of Luana that had two ministers be like, oh, this chick's a vampire. That's so random. How do you escalate things that like that? A witch, well, a witch, about... I can understand it. A witch, I can understand. Yeah. Maybe even a, a like a, a werewolf, like a skinwalker. Yeah. But like, how do you yeah, get to a vampire? vampire? That's like what I'm curious about because. Like, how do you get to there? Like, I understand maybe like you don't have internet; they have nothing to do. <laughs> True. You know, what else are they going to do? It's just spread rumors. A bunch of yentas. Um, and then, um, but, but see, like, how do you, like, it could be anything. How do you get to a vampire? That's why I'm so curious about vampires. I really like vampires because it's just such a, it's not like, for example, like a werewolf or like Sasquatch in like those type of myths. Hmm. That could have been anything, like, that somebody started because they did see, like, a weird mountain cat, cat or, like, a, a a wild dog. And they're like, that is a werewolf. Right. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, 
vampires are such a like how do you get to that how do you how do you come up with that maybe ali we should do an episode on vampires <gasps> like a full on like where it comes from like what's the word yeah no i'm mm -hmm. i'm dead serious mm -hmm. because now that i think about it i'm like we learn about vampires because of dracula yeah where does exactly. dracula come from Like, what is it based on? Na is Dracula based on this guy that you were talking about? No. No, no, no. No, it's um, not. It's not. It's not. Oh, well, actually, I think Dracula is based on a count. Uh, wait, Probably. I know, no, but, but maybe we should, like, do an episode and, and, like, tell people, like, okay, vampires are because of this, 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 and this. We should. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Idea. Let's do that. Fun. Yay. The episode is going to be called, What the Fuck Are Vampires? What the Fuck Are Vampires? <laughs> yeah. So that's the story of vampires. <laughs> not really. It's a story yeah. involving vampires, but it's not about vampires. Yeah. No, the first kiss was freaky, though. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. I was like... I won't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I was like reading about it because I, I searched like real life vampires. And yeah. I'm reading it, but I'm like, wait, wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and end yeah. everything. Now that we have you to episode oh, ideas. I wanted to tell you a little ghost story. I forgot to say it at the beginning. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Ghost okay. story. So, my work, where I work, is supposedly haunted. I don't think it actually is. Maybe it might be. Maybe it's not. So, one of the... Um, one of the head cashiers, she, uh, sorry, the supervisor for the head cashiers, she has been in the store since literally open, like since the 90s. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I was asking her yesterday because I had a, I had an incident with one of the barbecue assemblers. So we have, we offer services where you pay and then they assemble the barbecue that you bought for you. Okay. Right. And so there's an assembler who comes to, oh. I took a picture. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What? <laughs> I pressed the button. So I pressed the button and I took a picture. I'm sorry. <laughs> we look so ugly. <laughs> anyway, so there's an assembler who comes like two or three times a week to assemble the barbecues and have them ready for the customers. Okay. And so they work usually in the back, like nobody sees them, like there's no customers allowed in that area. Okay. Like on our receiving area, so it's like the the back room, I guess. And so um I asked her, I was like, Hey, do you believe in ghosts? And she's like she's like, ah, I mean, yes and no. Why you ask? And I was like I was like, Well, you've heard the rumor that this place is haunted, right? <gasps> and the thing is that they say they say they say the vault where I used to work before, like the bookkeeping office, is like this little tiny office that's behind two closed doors, like to like st steel doors. Okay. So they say that room specifically is haunted. But I worked there for two years, and I used to like work every weekend on my own, and I never had any experiences back there. Which there's a video actually where in the camera, so there's a security camera, and we have a, a little screen inside, so we know who's outside of the doors. Okay. Like if they're um they're ringing the bell. Um, and so there's a video that they took a couple years ago, like before I started working there, where there's in the camera, there's like this like translucent figure, like waving at the <gasps> camera and like moving around up and down the hallway. Oh my it's God. It's really freaky. Yeah. Um, I've seen the videos. Freaky. Uh... Um, but like, again, that could be anything, right? Right. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it's not. I do believe in ghosts, but like that could be anything. And so she, I, I asked her, I asked this, this lady who's been at the store forever. And she's like, she's like, oh yeah, yeah I've heard that rumor. She's like, I started it. Cause she's like, she, she's a shit disturber like that. So uh. she started the rumor that the place is haunted. Okay. So, and she's like, but who knows? Maybe it is. The thing is she started it because, um, we've had many, many instances when people calls in. To like call in sick or like, hey, I'm gonna be late for my shift. And overnight, okay, like over the night, there's like only like freight workers. Like they take out, they receive all of the merchandise and they put it on the shelf uh -huh. for the store to be ready in the morning. And 
the thing is, many, many people have spoken to this person who ha- we have no idea who they are, but they take the calls. Like, what? Oh, no, I called in sick. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's happened many times. And so that's why she started the rumor. She's like, maybe because like we've had that many times. We've had people, um, registers are closed. And after they're, they're closed for the day, you can still log in, but you can only do, um, credit card or debit card sales. Right. Okay. And so it's happened many times as well that they come in in the morning and there's somebody logged in into one of the registers and it's a username that nobody knows. What? Mm hmm. So anyways, so I was asking her about it because of that. Yeah, it's it's freaky. I've, but I never had anything happen to me, which is... Which is weird because a lot of shit happens to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not calling for anything. I'm knocking on wood. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, this assembler was done with his assemblies of the barbecues. Mm-hmm. And he came up to me because we needed to... Um, like receive the purchase orders for the barbecues on the system. So he came up to me and like I was doing it and he was talking to me and he's like, Oh, by the way. So this is why I asked her because I, I was so confused. Um, he's like, by the way, tell the seasonal supervisor that I found the barbecue that he was asking me for. Okay. Right. It was like, yeah, yeah. It was back there. It's assembled for the customer. Cause he came to ask me about it. And I was like, Oh, you spoke to David, and then I remember that David wasn't in that day. Okay. Right? And I was like, wait. I was like, no, but he's not here today. He's like, oh, no, no. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know, the, the seasonal supervisor. I was like, do you mean, like, the tall young guy? And he's like, he's like, no, no. He goes, the older gentleman with the white, longer hair. And I was like, who? He's like, yeah, yeah, he came to talk to me and receiving. And he's like, yeah, he's like, no, 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 it's an older gentleman. He has long white hair. And I was like, huh? And so Dude. I just left it at that. I was, like, I was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, I just kind of brushed it off and I like, I give him back his paperwork and he left. And so I asked this lady because I was so confused. I was like, because he came up to me yesterday. And he told me that he spoke to this person. And I'm still trying to figure it out because we had, we don't even have an associate that looks like that in the store. Oh, God. Ew. I was like, are you sure? Like, and she's like, she's like, that's so freaking. She was trying to remember all the people that used to work in the store. And, and she's like, I don't even recall anybody like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (sighs) Ew. Right? (laughs) Oh, my God. Ew. And that was a whole story that I wanted to finish with. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Yep. And the thing is, this is in an area where customers are not allowed. Like, they know they cannot come in there. Right. So I have no idea. I have no idea who he spoke with. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. I'm really scared. scared. So now it was funny because before I didn't really believe the rumor that it, the place was haunted. Yeah. But then after you told me that, and me and and the this lady were like, maybe it is haunted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Random. Creepy. We call him Freddy. So I guess it's Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Oh my God, that's weird. I know. Okay. Anyways, yep. <laughs> Remember that we have to do pet of the week. Our last pet of the week because nobody else has sent us pictures. I I was thinking we should do yours after. Okay. okay. Let's start with Lady because Satan needs a break. Oh yeah, Lucifer needs like a a, a break from attention. He needs a timeout. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So the pet of the week this week. Is um, Kim's rocks from the dark rose, <laughs> rose dark rose pod. Well, let me. Open it. I have it. I have it. You have it. It says, "Uh, 
and Kim's collection of pet rocks that she's found around town. So she has like these really cute rocks that she found. And I say cute not because rocks are cute, but because she, it's they're painted that way. She, they're painted. And my favorite one is the Sally one. Oh yeah, I was just looking at that one. Yeah. Sally, and then there's one that says you are beautiful. Or you guys will see it. This one yeah. with a mermaid on it. Oh yeah, I love the one with the beautiful. mermaid on it. And I thought, I, I really thought when we were like, oh, send us your pet pictures, you know, whatever you consider a pet. And then she sends us pet rocks. And I'm like, wow, people do that? Yes. I didn't know people did that. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Sorry. <laughs> they are like the <laughs> I love it. I love. It. I don't know. I, you I know, I have. A, I have a question for um, for Kim, which is: Did you find those rocks painted that way, or do you paint them yourself? Because it's not specified. Specif- specified. I mean, if you're, I really hope she painted them. Because it says because it would be freaky t- for you to always found a painted rock. In random places, it's like somebody has to be following you and giving you these rocks. <laughs> or maybe it's like a gift. True. Maybe no, but it says she found around town. Maybe she's like queen of the rocks. True. No, really. Because it says pet rocks that she's found around town. Mm-hmm. So is it... Because you can find rocks anywhere. I have rocks. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe... I, th- I think she finds painted rocks around town honestly i don't know where Let's do you ask. live i want to live there <laughs> yeah where do you live i'm seriously considering getting rocks painting them and then leaving them around like random places <gasps> oh and on so the cool. other side have like a hashtag so people would upload the picture and then i you click on the hashtag and there's like pictures of the rocks i painted you should i don't know you totally should. <laughs> I'm, I should do the same. <laughs> okay. Anything else? No. No? Okay. I'm okay. Let's go, then. I have to go to the bathroom, and I have to shower, and I have to make lunch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should probably eat something, too. Yeah. Especially you. Yeah. So, um, guys, remember to... Send us your questions for the YouTube video that we want to make. You can send them on Instagram at Undercover Coven or on Twitter at Undercover Coven or to our email at UndercoverCoven at gmail.com. <laughs> she agrees. <laughs> Stop! Oh, that was Jax? No, for the lady. Okay, leave. Oh. I just see her little tail. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Uh, send us your questions. You can ask us anything. It could be about our lives. It could be about the podcast. It could be about... Anything. Anything. Don't say it. <laughs> what was I going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. I, I was going to say rocks. <laughs> rocks. Rocks. Um, yeah. So anybody could ask us anything. We will answer it yeah. on video. And, uh, well, you could check us out on our social media that I already mentioned. Everywhere it's Undercover Coven. And I don't know what else to say. Me neither. I feel like today's episode was really chill. It was. It's just that today is the day the Lord died. So. Okay, let's finish this. <laughs> Oh, so you're, like, you're saying we have to take it easy? No, it's just that like, you went out last night and I stayed up playing video games all night. So it's like, we just want to be chill today. And it's cold. Like, it's rainy over there. It's rainy over here. Let's just yeah. like relax, man. Just relax. Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, even like the episode was short, kind of. But we got ideas for the next episode. And the next episode we're having is going to be something really entertaining that we haven't decided yeah. yet. But we're between two options and both are really exciting. So um, stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. We'll be here. 
Because we have nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, we have no life, so it's okay. You have us forever. You have a life. You went out. I haven't gone out since my birthday. <laughs> Your birthday in January? Yeah. See, I, I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, have a great week. It's Monday, so have a great week. Uh, send us your questions, please. Uh, please. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry, I'm dying here. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Have a good week, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, shit.